this financial year, the Albanese government is going to fund the storage costs of cryopreservation of egg, sperm and embryos for cancer patients. Sony Foundation believe fertility preservation should be part of the treatment plan for any young Australian with cancer and until the entire fertility process is made equally accessible on a national scale. The Sony Foundation You Can Fertility is filling that gap. And joining me live is Assistant Professor Kate Stern, Head of the Fertility Preservation Service at Melbourne IVF and the Women's Hospital in Melbourne, Sophie Ryan, CEO of Sony Foundation, and Michaela Quasi is in remission from cancer and who has undertaken the free fertility services of the You Can Fertility Program. Thank mm -hmm. you all so much for joining us. And uh, Michaela, I will start with you and thank you so much for sharing your story here on Sky News Breakfast. Would you like to give us just a little bit of a, a rundown on what is happening and what it means for you uh, in terms of facing uh, what you are facing with cancer and how you might require fertility preservation? Yeah, of course. So um, I guess, you know, when I was 18, I got diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, I then relapsed when I was 23 weeks pregnant, when I was then 21. Um, and basically, as soon as I found out that diagnosis, I got introduced into this program. Um, and it kind of just went, you know, full steam ahead. And I ended up having my ovarian tissue taken out uh, during the birth of my daughter. And now that is frozen in Melbourne. So yeah, it's been a very hectic journey. Um, but it's, it's, yeah, it's very important for me and future, you know, cancer patients to be able to have this funding available to them. It's really important. Oh, absolutely. And some beautiful photos that we're seeing on screen of you and your baby. And yeah, congratulations. And such a hard Thank journey. You. I can... Yeah, it's hard enough just, you know, going through all of that emotions and everything, but from, you know, what you're you're dealing with as well, really tough times. Ass Assistant Professor Kate Stern, tell us about this recent funding from the government, what it means in terms of acknowledging the importance of fertility preservation for cancer patients. Thanks, Janie. Yes, well, we really, really welcome the government's acknowledgement that fertility in the future is so important for young cancer patients. And the federal government has agreed to now fund storage of eggs and sperm and embryos for patients that have had cancer. It's a great step. Unfortunately, there's still a big, big gap in the resourcing for fertility preservation for our cancer patients. We very much appreciate that. But at this time, we still rely on the amazing generosity of things like the UCAN Fertility, which actually provides extra assistance to make fertility preservation patients able to have their really important treatment to preserve fertility. You know, fertility and the loss of it is one of the most enormous concerns for our young cancer patients. We have very high survival rates, but being able to have your own child in the future is a really, really important part of your recovery. Yeah, you make some ex excellent points there. And uh, Sophie Ryan, CEO of Sony Foundation, again, like, you know, as a, a young person and experiencing cancer, I guess, you know, thinking of potentially having children might not be on their minds, but a very important decision to, to look at. What is the UCAN Fertility Service? Tell us a little bit more about it and, and the benefits and why Sony Foundation really have an interest in fertility preservation. Yeah, so our UCAN Fertility Program is a national fertility preservation service for 13 to 30 year olds, and it's fully funded by the Sony Foundation. So young people can access um, you can fertility and have, like Michaela, the collection, the transport, the freezing and the storage of uh, tissue, like ovarian tissue, like Michaela, um, for cancer patients all around the country. Um, as Kate said, cancer takes so much from these young people um, at such a critical time of their lives and um, a huge, huge issue for young people. The number one issue actually for young people uh, surviving cancer is, is this, uh, this possibility of infertility. And, and so we wanted to make sure that one of the hurdles in getting access to fertility preservation being the cost and the access 
is, is alleviated through, um, through the UCAN fertility program. Uh, why Sony Foundation is, is involved in, uh, as a charity arm of the Sony Companies, why we're, we're funding uh, UCAN fertility. Uh, it's part of our broader UCAN program, which the foundation launched uh, over a decade ago, which is very much focused on of really bridging the gap in care for our adults, our young adults and teenagers that are diagnosed with cancer. Uh, they're too too old for the paediatric health system, yet too young for the adult system, and there really is a lot of gap in lots of gaps in care for this this age group. And so, uh, through UCAN, Sony Foundation is is building um, youth cancer centres of excellence in adult hospitals around the country. It's funding accommodation services, um, picking up the cost of accommodation for our regional and rural patients that need to travel for for life saving treatment in the cities and then also uh, funding our UCAN fertility program to make sure that uh, young people have access to um, essential fertility preservation treatment as part of their, their cancer uh, plan. And more on the website, sonyfoundation.org, for, for people that are wanting uh, to find out more information. It's, it's great to have you all sharing this important message. Finally, Michaela, what message would uh, you like to share to other young people diagnosed with cancer? Yeah, of course. Um, honestly, lean on your support system and just take it one day at a time. That's all you can do. Otherwise, you just get overwhelmed. Um, you know, dealing with all the treatment that you have in the future and all the, you know, futuristic possibilities, but just take it one day at a time. Great advice. Well, thank you all so much for joining us today. And again, yes, for more information, people can head to the website, sonyfoundation.org. Really appreciate your time. All the very best. And we look forward to hearing more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.